So the ceremony just started and I'm surrounded by my court, my family, my friends and it's just going to be a great time. I'm excited for how it's going to go. As a congregation and as a people, one of the most effective instruments for preserving Jewish consciousness is public worship. Here as we pray together, we become participants in the common sentiment, the collective consciousness of our people. Well, I know a lot of people didn't understand that much about our ceremony, but um, we try to be very explicit on the prayers so that everybody, you know, were able to see how special, of course, the ceremony is and, and what significance for us. She was very good at telling what it really means for us. The Jewish religion has many traditions. A kippah, which is what I'm wearing here, is a brimless cap worn by Jews to fulfill the customary requirements that the head be covered as a sign of respect while praying and using God's name. The kippah is kind of like a hat that you wear when you're praying. Usually is mainly the man who wears it, but in this ceremony, since they are saying the prayers for us, she has to wear it. The talit, or prayer shawl, is worn while praying. So the talit basically is a shawl that you wear when you start praying. It may also be seen as a portable spiritual home in which you can wrap yourself in to have time for prayer or to reflect or healing from something you may be going through in life. In each of the four corners of the shawl are strings tied in a particular pattern called tzitzit. The tzitzit is worn as a reminder to live a mitzvah, or a commandment. When you put it on her, it's to symbolize respect. When you're doing your prayers, you tie it into your fingers. At first I was pretty nervous, like really nervous, but then um, after I got in there and I was saying the prayers, I kind of like cooled down and yeah, I feel a lot better now. It went pretty smoothly. The Shema is one prayer that is specifically commanded in Torah. It is the oldest fixed daily prayer in Judaism, recited morning and night since ancient times. The Shema is basically like a prayer that you say during a ceremony and it's blessing you and your family when you're praying. Shema Israel Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Etshad. Well, this ceremony was really good, very emotional. I wanted to cry, but I didn't want her to cry because I knew if she see me crying, she was going to get nervous. But I'm extremely proud of her, how well she came up with the prayers. After all the time they were telling it, you know, she needed to learn them. And overall, I think it went really great. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad the singing is basically um, a celebration. That's what the prayer signifies, a celebration of life and a family and of friends. The singing was very important because it just felt very, um, it was very uplifting. This concludes some of the traditional parts of a coming of age for a young lady. I'd like to end with Sonia and Cesar coming close to their daughter, Frida, and for all of us to hold hands and we bow our heads in prayer and thankfulness. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. The prayer circle meant to me, it was very um, important because they're like literally the reason why I'm able to have the skin set and the reason I'm here. It just means a lot to me that I got to have that moment with them. And I loved it a lot. I was just thanking God for giving us this opportunity to come together as a family and celebrate this special moment for her. In your heavenly name we pray, amen. amen. It was great, actually. Um, she did very well. She seemed very confident. And I'll be honest with you, she looked great. And so did both of my parents, but she did amazing. I'm very proud of her. One thing that really stood out for me in the ceremony was just being able to be with my friends and family and having us line up and walk together because it just felt very nice. So after the ceremony, we're going to go take more pictures. And I'm so excited to just finally start the night. I want you guys to choke each other. Like choke each other? Don't pretend you don't fight. Here we go.
Okay, there you go. Thank you. Beautiful gorgeous. <laughs> Seeing Frida in her dress, I, I literally, I was in awe. I wanted to cry. I actually did start tearing up, and I thought she looked beautiful. She looked amazing. Perfect little quinceanera. Just seeing Frida, it was like all the work that we've done through all this year, up and down, agreements, disagreements, was just a joy. It's 100% joy just to see her, how happy she is and enjoying every little aspect of the of today's day, ever since she's woke up. Big smile already. Okay, here we go. So we're looking at her camera on count three, one, two, three. It's fun being with my court. They're very energetic people. One, two, three, give <laughs> Yeah, I just love being with them. It's a great time. I just feel like these. Or you've been with the Maria sign. Very looking forward to the party. Um, I can't wait to see what the surprise dances are and what she has done with my dad for the surprise dance. I'm very excited for that. Yeah. I love you very much, Chips. You're my best friend. I love you so much. Can't wait to see what goes on in the night. venue for the first time I was really excited and like blown away because it's exactly how I wanted it. Wow. Oh my god. My theme is Great Gatsby. Everything looked exactly like how it's supposed to be. But the first thing that stood out to me was a bunch of like the gold and the sequins and also my Audrey Hepburn recreation and just all the colors it all like popped and everything. There's feathers and then there's black and gold and there's white too and everybody dressed up. They just look so great. It looks amazing overall. I'm very, very happy. I don't know what to say. It's so amazing. Oh my god, I love it. I'm excited to get the night started. What do we do now? <laughs> just go anywhere. Hey guys, thanks for watching my show. If you want your Ginse featured on Awesomeness TV, send us a video telling us why to Ginse at AwesomenessTV.com. And don't forget to subscribe to Awesomeness TV. Bye!